it's really interesting to see the volume actually be much higher today than it was yesterday when I made the video yesterday around 12 o'clock because in yesterday's video I talked about we were at 8.7 million in volume and we actually ended the day yesterday with the volume being, let me tell you right now, the volume yesterday was actually 17.3, we ended on the day, and today we're already at 16.3 with an hour left. And usually with Molin stock, the last hour gets the craziest, and by the way, we're actually green on the day. You can see right here. As I'm making this video, we're up 1%, 48.3, 48 cents that is. You can see below me, the volume is at 16.85, and also you can see that we hit lows of 44 cents. If you watch my video yesterday, I was talking about, it's interesting that the volume has been decreasing, but we've been making higher lows every single day on a daily time frame. You can see that nice little dip this morning that we had, and then we just started to recover, making higher lows and higher highs, as you can see right here. I was looking at the overall market though, and it seems like everything was selling off earlier today, the VIX was shooting up, and if you don't know what the VIX is, basically when the VIX shoots up, that means stocks are crashing. But the VIX is actually coming back down and stocks are making a nice recovery as we enter into the afternoon, especially into power hour right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see where Mullen lands today. The way I'm looking at it right now, if you're long-term on the stock, there's really nothing you can do. You just gotta wait it out, go day to day, decide what's best for you because we have obviously a lot of things that have been happening and a lot of things coming up. And I think one of the most important things right now that Mullen needs to get very clear on and we need to get clear on is when is the NASDAQ hearing? When is that meeting going to happen? Because that's all that really matters because Mullen absolutely needs an extension. If they don't get an extension because they're not NASDAQ compliant, then this is going to get very ugly being my own opinion. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You always have to do what's best for you. I'm gonna show you the charts right now because I've been pretty spot on. If you've been watching my videos every single day, I usually tell you what I think is, is gonna happen next, what it's kind of looking at, what it's kind of looking like from previous, what has happened before. And that's really how I tend to trade and look at different stocks out there. I've been talking a lot about Palantir, obviously. I've been covering that. If, if you haven't seen that, go watch those videos. But also, if you wanna learn more about technicals and chart analysis and Fibonacci's, a very simple way, because I know there's a lot of people out there selling these very expensive courses to teach you this stuff. Look, I taught myself this stuff, right? And I know a lot of people don't have time to watch hours of courses. That's why I have a private Discord. I have something connected to the Patreon where you can learn all this stuff for seven bucks a month. Literally, I make it as simple as possible and that's why I'm not charging people $100 a month or $50 a month or anything crazy like that because I want you to start to understand how charts move, how you can line up with the news and how Fibonacci's play a huge role with stocks moving up or stocks moving down, of course, with resistance and support as well. So it's very simple. I make it very easy for you. Check out the links down below if you're interested. So you could see right here, you might have to zoom in, but you could see these long wicks. So this is on a daily time frame. So what this is telling us is Mullen is making new support because you have the double bottom right here. And I've been talking about that's the bottom, the bottom is in, I really do believe that. This is giving me more confirmation that the bottom is actually in because we have made new support being around, let's just call it 44 cents. Now we touched it again today, which was probably a little scary. You could see this long wick, but obviously it was bought up very quickly um, and we turned green on the day. So we'll see what happens next, but also the stochastic is curling up. I said that in this morning's video and also the RSI is looking pretty good right now. We really need it to crack above this yellow line that you see right there. Then we can start to see a pop. Hopefully we can get a bigger run than what we've gotten recently. You also want to notice that the 50 SMA on a daily time frame is right around 70 cents right now. So again, it could go there. It's gone there before. It might take some time, but this is positive that we're actually moving up. We're making higher lows. You know, same stuff that I kind of always talk about, but I just want to give you guys an update of where I'm at and where the charts are at. Now, if we get any news, that would make a ton of sense because I really do think news has a lot to do with runs and with the charts. I think news lines up with the charts. I think charts line up with the news. So if Mullen does drop news today or tomorrow or even Monday, 
it would make a ton of sense just being where the stochastic is right now in a daily time frame and where the RSI is right now in a daily time frame. Guys, always appreciate you for liking this video. I appreciate you for staying and watching these every single day. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early.